So we are making jollof rice today. And like you know, I always like to roast my tomatoes and paprika for some time just to get that smoky jollof rice flavor. So I cut off the tomatoes, the paprika, garlic, ginger, and the scotch bonnet pepper I needed. And I roasted it in the oven for about 30 minutes. And after that, I blended. And after blending, I go in with some oil and the tin tomatoes. I like mixing the tin tomatoes, but it's optional. You can or you cannot. It's not a necessity. But I like to mix it because it just elevates the color of the jollof rice. So after I have fried it for about three minutes or, or five, I go in with the pepper mix that I blended and then I'm going to stir it together. Now it's time to season. I go in with my seasoning, chicken seasoning, salt, garlic powder, ginger powder. And after that, I'll just mix everything together and the sauce is ready. I'm just going to give it a quick taste and to make sure that it's okay, the salt is good and everything is okay. And once that is done, it is now to go in with my rice guys if you're watching this and you've not subscribed to my youtube channel what is it now do you do it do you want me to come to your house and beg you please subscribe thank you anyway let's continue so i'm gonna add a little bit of water to cook this rice because um the sauce is not enough to cook it and once i added the water i test it again to know if it is okay and it is okay i cook this on a very low heat for about 30 minutes and guys my jollof rice is ready but this is not where the fun end i'm going to be using lamb ribs for this jollof rice and i already marinated this lamb ribs overnight so i just go in with the butter because i'll be butter and then cook the steak for about uh, 30 minutes but in a low heat though in a low heat and because i want it to be well done not uh medium well or anything i want it to be well done you get so that is why i cooked it for that long i added some garlic just to give it a little bit of more flavor although there was a lot of garlic while i was marinating it but i i added more just to give it that flavor if you have not noticed i love garlic so i cooked this um lamb risk lamb rib for a while and after that it is ready it is perfectly done the way i want it to be and now it's time to assemble everything together oh at least i forget i also got to be making um some coleslaw salad for this jello fries paying coleslaw salad with my jello fries just is the best if you've not tried it before just try it you're gonna love it so I'm, I'm just going to be using cabbage and carrot and I'll mix them together and add about three spoons of mayonnaise and then mix it together and your coslo salad is ready a lot of people add egg and the rest to their coslo salad but for me I think this two ingredients is just okay for me I love it and just add enough mayonnaise but if you're watching your weight, then you have to watch the mayonnaise you add to it. Uh, yeah, I mix it together and this food is ready. I'm just going to assemble it together, dish it out. And then, girl, let's go and enjoy this plate of yumminess. Like, every bit of it was so good, guys. You need to try it. Of course you do. And when you do, let me know anyway guys bye and thanks for watching and don't forget don't don't forget to subscribe i love you bye